in the world. He went to Mississippi after the assassination of civil rights icon Medgar Evers and made a statement by running an all-integrated basketball clinic there. He campaigned for the Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act, and he was a leading voice for black athletes who believed in the fight against injustice. All these years after he won those 11 titles as a player, the last two as a team's player coach, by the way, I think the most important thing to understand about Bill Russell isn't just how hard he fought, but simply how he fought. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Warriors coming into the arena earlier. They know a hostile crowd's waiting for them, and it looks like they'll be ready for it. The sun shining bright on downtown Salt Lake City, Utah. Our location for today's broadcast. And it's our favorite day of the year at 2K Sports. At long last, it's time to roll the ball out there and get the new season of NBA basketball underway. Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. All right, B.A. Well, Rudy Gobert is accustomed to getting overlooked. He said, quote, when you play in a smaller market, you have to do three times what the guys in the big markets do. It's fine, though. I'm just focused on this team. Individual awards aren't what I play for. I want to keep getting better and winning. Guys? He's doing that. Thanks, Allie. And here's what the Utah Jazz schedule looks like. On Saturday, they'll be playing against Eric Bledsoe and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Monday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. The core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. Hassan Whiteside is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And for the Jazz, O'Neal is at power forward with Gobert anchoring at center. The backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell, and it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward. Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, how pumped are these players right now? Oh, they are so pumped indeed. I mean, look, the offseason can be a long one, but every player loves when the games really start to count. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Gobert up top. Pass to Mitchell. He takes it in, and Mitchell with the slam. I like that Donovan Mitchell's not afraid to attack the rim. He finished strong. Thompson passes to Curry. And that's a foul. Hold on, Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. That's something you hate. You're trying to come in with an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. with the ball and Whiteside with a block Whiteside light off his feet plus he can block your shot with either hand and Thompson gets Thompson. it to go defensively you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter Curry against Conley a little over a minute gone here in the first quarter the three from Mitchell. It doesn't go for him. And Golden State will come the other way. Green finds Thompson. And it slams in by Whiteside. Wow. Able to adjust in the air, contort his body if need be. Whiteside brutal on a catch and flush. Now here's Conley. Outside Mitchell. Launches a three. The rebound by Whiteside. Here's Golden State. It's a three-point game. Down low. And there's Green on the assist from Curry. Such a clever facilitator. Steph Curry is fantastic at noticing when his teammates are uncovered. Now here's Mitchell. The ball's knocked loose. Thompson with it. And it's Gobert picking him up. And the slam dunk by Thompson. 
They're really settling into a nice rhythm now, starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Conley. Five to shoot. Can they get it? And right side for one. And he's able to get it back. And a chance now to look at the highest scoring teams in the league from last season. Number one, the Jazz. The Warriors, second. This is going to be a shooting contest as much as it is anything else. We know both of these teams are capable of racking up some huge point totals. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Curry against Conley. Pass to Green. The three. Rebound, Utah. After five shots, that's their first miss. I definitely call that a good start. You know, Rudy Gobert, the three-time defensive player of the year, is not satisfied. I think the seven-footer has one more that he might add before his career is done. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Bogdanovich, the rebound by Wiggins. The Warriors leading. Curry, that's good. And the list of big men with multiple awards for Defensive Player of the Year. Hakeem, Matumbo, Ben out, Wallace, Dwight Howard, don't forget about Rodman, and Rudy Gobert. That's historic company, B.A. I think Gobert is, honestly, underappreciated. Right. One of the all-time greats when it comes to locking up. Utah calls timeout. There's no way Coach likes this effort level. They need to refocus. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Now here's Mitchell. Pass to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. From deep, Conley. And another miss by Utah. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Connects from downtown. Man, that was fast. They're already up by double digits. This has been a beatdown right here. Possibly over before it began. Now here's Gobert. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Green with the ball. Guarded now by Mitchell. Green, the pass to Curry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Warriors. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. The other thing that's been effective so far tonight is their fast break. A lot of points coming on the run. That three's off the mark. Utah with the ball. Down by 15. Outside for Mitchell. Pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. Five on the clock. From deep, Conley nails it from beyond the arc. And this is something Conley's worked on since entering the league. His ability to stretch the floor. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of making that happen, Grant. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. And to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa, it's not just a great investment, but you're also doing the right thing, spreading the game, sharing the game, and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone. It's hard to intimidate Whiteside because he's usually the guy on the end doing the intimidating. He's perfect from the line this time. Utah has gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Conley finds Mitchell. Thompson with some nice D. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. 
That's foul number two for him. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. Young, he's checked in for Utah. Clarkson comes in for Mitchell. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. Bogdanovich against Wiggins. Out to the wing. White side, the pass to Thompson. Three on the clock. Wiggins, no good. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Pass to O'Neal. Now Conley. Now here's Clarkson. Defended by Thompson. Here's Conley. Shoots over Curry. The shot by Conley. No good. Good shot. Gone bad. Gotta finish there. Wiggins outside. And that one is hammered home. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Conley. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Wiseman. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Not going to go that time. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Outside Bogdanovich. Inside. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Klay Thompson. Golden State has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. To the middle. Here's Curry. Here's Whiteside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Boyan Bogdanovich picks one up. You know, fouling Whiteside in there used to be a good strategy. Not anymore. He's improved his free throw shooting quite a bit. And he knocks down the first one. Cousins, he's checked in for Utah. Gay comes in for Bogdanovich. Both free throws good for Whiteside. And Utah has possession. It's an 18-point game. Here's Clarkson. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. You have to switch on that play. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Now here's Young. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. No question who's in control of the board so far. Poole against Clarkson. Poole outside. Here's Wiseman. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Okay, the pass to Clarkson. Here's the floater. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Cousins with the steal. Clarkson outside. He dunks it down. Clarkson, Talk two. about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Outside Conley. Young, the pass to Conley. And it's Little with a rebound. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Here's Little. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. 
to the paint. Oh, got a piece of it. Stolen by Whiteside. Pass to Poole. Back to Whiteside. Clock at four. Tries it from the top of the key. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Rudy Gay picks one up. Team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Jordan Poole. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Pascal, he's checked in for Utah. Curry, he's checked in for the Warriors. Both shots good from the strike. And here in the first, they really are hitting their free throws. And the Jazz with possession here. Conley passes to Pascal. Here's Clarkson. The kick out to Gay. Let's go with a three. No good that time. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. Now here's Curry. He's got five. Poole from long range. Wiseman inside. He's guarded by Conley. The kick out. Curry. Pass to Poole. Six on the shot clock. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Poole's got six. At times, some have doubted Curry's legacy. Hard to make a case against him, though, in my opinion. I agree, B.A. He has produced in every capacity. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. So jump ball. And the Jazz with possession here. Pascal passes to Clarkson. Over Curry. True on the 14-footer. He has six. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Now here's Curry. Pass to Kaminga. Now here's Poole. The three from Curry. Drops in the three. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. Now here's Gay. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Cousins, the pass to Clarkson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And here's Curry. And he's going for the oop here. <laughs> Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Boy, for the Warriors, this has been the game they've wanted to have. They're just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. The Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson, the guards. Kaminga is out there with Draymond Green. And it's Little in at the three spot. 
I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot, <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Oh, power down with both hands. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. Clarkson passes to Gobert. Clarkson against Poole. Golden State foul. Jonathan. The Jazz making a switch here. Butler's checked in. Personal foul. First team foul. Coming on the floor for the Jazz. Jared Butler. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Just five on the clock. Pulls up on the wing. And that one hits the back iron. Golden State has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. The Warriors are trying to get back to the top of the Western Conference. Stephen Curry said, quote, it's tough. Guys want to outperform and exceed expectations. Nobody is content just being middle of the road. It's a challenge we all need to take head on. Yeah, they're trying to bring it all together, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Poole. He has six. Rebounded by Gay. The Jazz have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Mitchell. Hits it. Now two of six from the field. This guy just gets buckets. Donovan understands his team expects him to score inside. Up top, Curry. Butler covering. Pass to Poole. Takes the three. He can't hit that time. For Utah, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Pascal finds Mitchell. Got a piece of it. Butler against Poole. The kick out to Gay. Over Green. Warriors with the rebound. Minnesota will be traveling to face him after this game. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Gobert against Poole. And it's Gobert with a rebound. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Butler passes to Gay. Shoots over Curry. And it's Gay with the miss. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And for the Jazz, they're shooting a poor 25% for this game so far. Fires the three. The Jazz with another miss. Smooth sailing for Golden State. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. It's Poole on the wing. Poole pops the J after a cagey pass fake. Poole's got eight. It's just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And Utah calls time here. And there's a 10-second limit on free throw routines. But we see some players ask for time before they get the ball. Brad, do you think that should count as part of their time? B.A., I don't see why not. I mean, it's about keeping the game moving. So asking the ref to hold the ball longer, uh, not exactly compatible. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. Thompson comes in for Poole. Woo, look at the strength of Donovan Mitchell, able to fend off defenders and make these difficult finishes. Curry from deep three-point land. Can't get it to go. Only three for eight. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. O'Neal. That shot off. The Warriors go the other way with it. Wiggins outside. From deep three-point range. That's good from Curry. On the assist by Wiggins. He's got 11. And that's his first triple this quarter. Three total for the game. Mitchell finds Conley. Rebound by Wiggins. 
Wiggins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Curry. Fires for three. And the three-pointer goes. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. Over Thompson. The Jazz again can't hit. Golden State has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Green. To the inside. Up and over Conley. Curry's shot is off. Utah has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. And here's Mitchell. Back to O'Neal. Bogdanovich passes to Mitchell. To the left side wing from deep Conley and it's little with a rebound you know we talk a lot about scoring efficiency he's displaying the exact opposite pass to Curry from deep the rebound by the Jazz Gobert's got his sixth rebound on the night oh there's the alley up high and down it goes on the lob just throw it up to Gobert and he'll take care of the rest using that enormous wingspan Little shot is good. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Huh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Count it. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Golden State has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. And I know one thing drives Rudy Gobert is earning his respect. All-star snubs, people counting his money. He's determined to have the final word. Golden State calls timeout. Smitty, you talk about Gobert. He's motivated by his doubters. He wears that number 27, signifying his draft position back in 2013. And listen to this. Even in the 2021 All-Star game, he and teammate Donovan Mitchell were their last two picks. Whatever the reason, he knows people will respect a champion. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Jazz shooting only 36% during the second. Bogdanovich passes to Conley. To the paint. Cousins against Curry. Here's Conley. Pass to Young. Outside Bogdanovich. Off target from three-point range. And the Warriors shooting at a respectable 49%. Curry against Conley. Outside Curry. And he lobs it up top. And it's white side with a big finish. Just flawless timing right there. Right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. Outside Conley. Pass to Cousins. Now Mitchell. Defended by Thompson. Beyond the arc. The shot won't fall. The Warriors go the other way with it. Wiggins right side. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one. So polished from this painted area. Love watching Wiggins do his thing close to the basket. Now here's Conley. Outside Mitchell, and he drives in. Thompson with some nice D. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go in the second. Wiggins drives in. That one no good. Good D by Bogdanovich. Conley finds Mitchell. Now Cousins. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Clarkson's checked in for Conley. Second team foul. Warrior substitution. Pass to Mitchell. Wiseman against Young. From behind the arc. And it's Clarkson missing. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Thompson against Clarkson. Thompson passes to Whiteside. Clock at six. Takes a three. And there's Thompson on the assist Thompson. by Wiggins. Three. Wiggins got four assists now tonight. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. 
Mitchell, the pass to Cousins. To the middle, looking to end the run. And Cousins throws it down. And his teammates appreciate the unselfishness. Bondanovich willing to get it to his open guys. Cousins against Wiseman. Over to the left wing. Nix. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Cousins, the pass to Clarkson. In the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Young. Here's Cousins. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. White side. Defensively, that's just too physical. I know what the man's trying to do, but Cousins is wily enough to take advantage. Demarcus Cousins. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. One of the more controversial players in the game. What's amazing through all the scrutiny is the consistency of Cousins' production. Gaze checked in for Utah. Forrest comes in for Mitchell. And so he makes both from the line. 146 left in the second period. Poole outside. Down low. Cousins with the steal. Left side, Young. Here's Forrest. Pass to Cousins. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Thompson. Wiseman with it. Guarded by Young. Now Wiggins. Six to shoot. And here's Thompson for three. And the Warriors with another three. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Pass to Cousins. The Warriors pull it in. Wiseman's got seven rebounds in the game. Ball stolen. Here's Clarkson, and he goes in for the dunk. Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Now here's Poole. Give him eight. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. The drive by Wiggins. Shoots over Cousins. Count that one. Andrew. Wiggins got four points this quarter. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. Throws it up high. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. And so it's the Golden State Warriors cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. They're communicating well and stringing together stops. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Coach Quinn Snyder with us now. And, Coach, a bit of a lull for this team scoring the ball. Why? It had nothing to do with anything other than us being aggressive. We're, like, walking the ball up the court. Whoever's got it, we've got to attack. At least effort is something you can control. Thank you, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 14 points, three rebounds, and four assists. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Credit these guys for coming in with the right game plan and then patiently executing it. 
Most of their shots that come in the flow of the offense, rarely did they take a bad shot. Good first half. Shaq, what's your take on Utah so far? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. First half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And the Warriors with possession. Mitchell and Bogdanovich fill the wings. O'Neal is at power forward with Gobert anchoring at center. And it's Conley in at the one. That's the five to begin the second half for Quinn Snyder. Assists aren't Thompson's strong suit, but he smartly feeds a ready shooter. The three from Mitchell. The rebound by Whiteside. Whiteside's got a rebound number eight here already in the game. Basket counts. Beautiful location on the pass as usual. Led his man perfectly. Conley passes to Mitchell. There's the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. Mitchell's got eight. Always on the attack. Mitchell loves to drive it to the hoop. Put the pressure on the D. There are fans that hate on Draymond Green, but nobody can deny he's a winner. I mean, he is a winner. He's found success at every level. He gives everything to the team, and of course he has the rings to talk all he wants. When you talk about beyond the box score, Draymond is the prime example. So much of his contributions don't show up in his numbers. No good on that one. The leadership, the communication. Draymond does so much, Smitty. You know, B.A., he's a unique player in that regard. List the level of everyone on his team. A true coach on the floor. Good on the second one. For this team, Draymond's a true necessity. Does all the little things. Everyone understands how important he is on both ends. Conley finds Mitchell. Green with the defensive effort. The Warriors shooting about 56% in this one. Inside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And really, credit Green for getting the favorable position down inside, forcing the D's hand there. Green, two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. It's both from the stripe. The Jazz have gone just one of three in the second half. Conley passes to Gobert. O'Neal on the wing. Counted from distance. Love the decision by Gobert. Finding the open teammate, playing smart basketball. Green. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Draymond Green. At the line for two. Huh? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Green.
So he hits one of two from the stripe. For Utah, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And wrestling jump for ball, it there, ball, but no ball. one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Knocks it loose. And so it's Golden State with it. Curry passes to Thompson. Now here's Whiteside. Shoots off the step back. Good D by Bogdanovich. Utah has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to O'Neal. Mitchell up top. Jacks up a three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful oh, words from Stephen. Break. It a is a thing of beauty, Ali. Excellent. And the first one at the line is good. Talk to anyone who has guarded Curry. They all talk about his movement. He never stops moving on offense. Pascal, he's checked in for O'Neal. And Golden State also making a switch. Littles checked in for Wiggins. And so Curry nails both of them. With Curry and his movement, he has to do it in order to get open. The movement B.A. makes him easy to play with. Says a lot about his incredible conditioning and underrated part of his greatness. Now here's Conley. Outside Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Pascal passes to Mitchell from deep three-point range. The rebound by Whiteside. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Curry. Rebound, Utah. Next up on the schedule, the Clippers. That'll be a home game. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Here's Mitchell. No good. Excellent D there from Whiteside. The Warriors have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Back to Curry. Pass to Thompson. It's blocked by Gobert. What a block by Gobert. You expect that from a player who has led the league in blocks. Now Conley. Outside Mitchell. From deep. They grab their own miss. Drives to the hoop. Gobert finds Bogdanovich. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Mitchell can't get that one to fall. He just keeps firing from distance. I know he's trying to heat up, but at what cost? Seven. On Hurry. target from range. Rise and fire. This is Steph's mindset. Looks to score immediately after he gets the pass. Now here's Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Oh, they need this. That one's good, and it's Conley who picks up the assist. Mitchell's got eight here in this quarter. When you get faced up at one end, you want to get it back at the other. And you know he was going to try to respond. Those threes cancel each other out perfectly. Little shot is good. Six points for him. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Outside Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Conley. Over green. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Conley against Curry. 
Now here's Whiteside. Defense right on him. There's the three. And there's Curry on the assist from Whiteside. Curry's got 22 points. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. Mitchell misses. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. A different look for Utah. Oney comes in for Donovan Mitchell, and Butler is subbed in for Conley. And Golden State also making a switch. Pools checked in. The Jazz shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Gobert passes to Butler. Here's Pascal. Green covering. Back to Pascal. And a slam dunk by Pascal. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And here's Curry for three. The shot, no good. And Utah will come the other way. Pass to Pascal. Here's Oney. Now here's Butler. He's covered by Curry. The drive by Butler. Doesn't go that time. Golden State is gone three of four from outside in the second half. Cool shot is off. So it's Utah now. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Takes it inside, and it's rejected. Here's Oney. Good, and Butler gets the assist. The three-point shooting has been on point here in the second half. Pass to Little. Down low. Here's Pascal. Throws it down, and the official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. Whiteside. It's going to be on Hassan Whiteside. A different look for Utah. Gaze ball. checked in for Bogdanovich. And Clarkson Pascal subbed in for Oney. Eric Pascal shooting one. And here are the Warriors now. Pass to Green. Here's Nix. And here's Poole. He's covered by Clarkson. Clock at six. Here's Nix. Shoots over Pascal. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Okay, outside. Back to Gobert. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Gobert's got six. A much more physical player now than when he first entered the lead. Gobert powering it home. Knicks. And that one's long. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Pascal. And he can't get that one. Green with the defensive effort. And here's Kaminga for three. That one is off. The Jazz go the other way with it. Pass to Clarkson. Now here's Butler. Tipped away. The three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Defensively, you have to tight up on him or suffer the consequences. And here is Green. Here's Kaminga. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Knicks. And they come right back Green. with their own three-pointer. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Pascal can't hit. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Cool shot is off. Utah shooting just 33% so far in this game. Here's Clarkson. 
count that one. He's now five for eight. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Cool outside. Here's next. He's got five. It's blocked by Gobert. Butler on the wing. Green covering. Butler passes to Pascal. And a great assist by Butler as that one goes. Pascal's got seven points for the quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. A different look for Utah. Young, he's checked in for Gobert. O'Neal comes in for Pascal. And Forrest is subbed in for Butler. Now here's Poole. Give him eight points now. Pass to Moody. A minute 29 left in the third. With the drive. And it's good for two. Moody's got his first points of the night. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Here's Forrest, guarded by Poole. Pass to Gay. Shoots over Kaminga, and it's Gay with the miss. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Now here's Wiggins. Nine points in the game. Young with the defensive effort. Pass to Forrest. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Back to Young. Here's Clarkson. The three is up. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Wiseman's got nine rebounds now. Now here's Poole. Back to Wiseman. And it's Wiseman with the jam. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. And so it's the Golden State Warriors cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. We'll be right back after this word. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. They've got Moody. Kaminga is out there with Jordan Poole. And it's Stevens in at the four. Cousins gets the bucket. Nice pick and roll action. Cousins is a big target, and he has great hands. Excellent play. Poole for three. Drills it from deep. Jordan. And he's not Poole. taking it easy on them at all. I mean, we all know he's going to keep pouring it on. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Now here's Cousins. And the lamp is good off the glass. They have no answer defensively inside. Pass to Moody. And it's Jordan Clarkson with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. While super teams are still being built, Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. Oni, he's checked in for Utah. On the take. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam. 
with two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. Outside Young, pass to Forrest. Back to Young. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Young. Young's got his first bucket in this one. Pulling no punches, attacking the heart of that defense. Here's Stevens. Shot from 12. Rebound, Utah. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Pass to Cousins. Let's the three fly. And no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. Poole with the ball. Now guarded by Gay. And there's the foul. It'll go on Rudy Gay. That'll be a second foul of the game. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. Little's checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Poole. Here's Curry. Here's Little. There's the block. All over that one, DeMarcus gets himself in position, ties the block beautifully. Here's Forrest. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Grant is someone who played abroad on Team USA. How exciting is it to see how much more international the league has become? It's fantastic. No question. You know, back then we saw so many talented foreign stars playing internationally. But now the best really do all find their way here to the NBA. First one falls. Bogdanovich has checked in for Utah. Good on both. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Now here's Curry. Tight defense on him. Moody from outside. And Young pulls it down. Young's got four rebounds now. Pass to Cousins. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Cousins has got six in the quarter. As much as today's game is being played on the perimeter, it's good to see Cousins attacking inside. And here's Curry. Drains the triple. Curry's got 25 points in the game. In the first half, he got wild and loose from beyond the arc. Now he's hit three more cents. Remarkable. To the inside. Here's Cousins. Count that one. He's now five for eight. After some misses in the first, He's making up for it now. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, there's talk now of how tight officials call the game spinning. You think the league would benefit from allowing play to be more physical? B.A., well, I don't think people want physical play to dictate the game, but I would like for, you know, the defense to be able to at least use an arm bar Maybe not hand check two. like we did back in the day, but an arm bar just to be able to have the game kind of even out for the defensive players. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Cousins, the pass to Bogdanovich. Going inside. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Fantastic at staying in control. Like seeing Bogdanovich work through contact on that play. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Warriors. 
They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. Another thing, they haven't missed a beat on the fast break in either half tonight. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. You know, a pretty consistent score throughout the course of his career. Bogdanovich, he was just born to get buckets. Here's Moody, defended by Bogdanovich. For Utah, they've gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. Young. Outside Bogdanovich. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. One of the main weapons Bogdanovich brings, a dead-eyed three-point shooter with impressive range. Curry with it. For three. Gets the three to fall. Curry's got six here in the quarter. And every time you think he can't hit another, mm -hmm. Pass to Cousins. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Stevens. Well, Grant, it seems like more and more game time is spent with officials huddled around a monitor. You think instant replay has been a positive thing for the league? Well, for the most part, I think it has been a positive thing. I enjoy it. I think it brings a level of transparency, and also it's important to get the call right. But at times, it does disrupt the flow of a game. And players can't be consumed about winning every call all the time. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. For the Jazz, Gobert's checked in for Cousins. Donovan Mitchell comes in for Oney, and Conley subbed in for Forrest. Golden State has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Thompson passes to Curry. Offline with a three. The Jazz have gone eight of 11 from the field in the fourth. Bogdanovich finds Gobert. Mitchell with the ball. Fires from deep. And they'll get another chance. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Pass to Curry from deep. The basket's good. Definitely. Off the assist Curry. from Thompson. Four, three. Thompson's got his fourth assist with that last one. Now here's Mitchell. Knocked loose. Thompson with a steal. And the Warriors pushing it up now. And the slam Play. dunk by Thompson. Thompson. Dominant play by Clay Thompson. Rising up for a beautiful jam. Back to Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Now here's Bogdanovich. Gets an open look and hits it. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Thompson against Mitchell. Outside Curry. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. Now, here's Green. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Curry against Mitchell. Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Gobert. Up and in on the layup. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. Curry passes to Thompson. Now Curry. It's good. Curry's got 11 points in the quarter. The whole team is loving everything Steph is doing. Playing with the ease on offense tonight. And Utah calls time here. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. I mean, the ridiculous production from beyond the heart. They have to find a way to cool him down. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow. So impressive. 
The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Wow, did this game really turn out to be his show? A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. Just five to shoot. Shot from the wing. No good off the back of the rim. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Pass to Whiteside. Here's Stevens. And Pascal secures it. Utah's got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. What? Wait. Hey, the Ducks are always for the big boy. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Here's Stevens. Pass to Knicks. Hey, expanding his range. Offensive rebound. Oh, and he got yeah, fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Good activity from Whiteside. Aggressive move. Draws contact. Going to the line. And Smitty, we're seeing so many players raising their voices for social justice, more so than in years past. Why do you think that is? Well, salute to all these players. Not only these players, we all must do our part. And I am Shoot thankful two. and love watching these young players in this era take social justice and put it in the forefront. And that one misses. A big group substitution here for Utah. Rudy Gobert's checked in for Pascal. O'Neal comes in for Oni. Mitchell's checked in for Forrest. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Butler. And he can't hit the second. And so it's Utah with it. Here's O'Neal. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Pass to Green. O'Neal pulls it in. O'Neal's got his fourth rebound in this one. Conley against Wiggins. And here's Mitchell. And he lobs it up. The shot misses. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Right side Curry. Back to Thompson. The three ball. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Looking to get back on track. Oh, Green with a block. You know, so much of Draymond's rim protection comes from positioning. But this time, he just flat out went got it. Here's Bogdanovich. Two minutes remaining in the game. And minutes. another miss by Utah. Pass to Whiteside. Here's Wiggins. And Grant, you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach. How has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. And he drops the first. So Utah going with an almost entire new group here. Pascal, he's checked in for O'Neal. Oni comes in for Bogdanovich. Forrest is checked in for Mitchell. And Butler is subbed in for Conley. So he gets them both. And the defense of Wiggins Grant. Something that he's turned around in his career. Yeah, you know, B.A., he went from a weak defender to a strong one. He's always had the tools, but he's putting it all together and can now be a lockdown wing. Curry against Butler. Six to shoot. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Warriors. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different.
And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Stephen Curry. High-level shot-making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. <laughs> One positive takeaway? At least they're finally showing signs of life out there. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Here's Stevens. The kick out, Curry. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Moody misses. Gobert against Wiggins. Puts it up from 12. Gobert, no good. And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Steph. I know it's still early, but how do you evaluate this team and its ability to go the distance? Uh, in terms of communicating about our principles and how we're going to be successful, trying to chase another championship, we're definitely uh, on the same page. Just a matter of staying focused every night, giving the best effort we can, and just you know enjoying the journey because it's a long year. Well, you've been there. You know what it takes. Thanks, Steph. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you later.